you want to convert your Starfield save from the Xbox Game Pass version to the Steam version. How do you do that? Well, it's relatively simple, but not in the way that you'd think. To begin, we'll need to find where your Steam save files are. Hold Start and press E at the same time to open up a new file browser, then navigate across to Documents, followed by My Games, and inside of here you'll find Starfield, then Saves, and here are all of your save games for the Steam version of Starfield. Now, to move our Xbox saves, you'd think you can just drag them from the Xbox folder into here and things would work. Well, let me show you why it's not that simple. I'll hold Start and press R to bring up the Run dialog, and inside of here I'll type in percentage, local, app, data, percentage, and hit Enter. Then, inside of our C Users Your Username App Data Local folder, I'll click anywhere and press P to skip straight down to Packages. We'll open this, followed by Bethesda Softworks .project Gold. This is Starfield, then System App Data, followed by WGS, and inside of this very long folder name over here, you'll find all of your Xbox Game Pass or Xbox version of the Starfield saves here. Obviously, these two aren't exactly the same. On Steam, they're single files, and in the Xbox Game Pass, they're folders with multiple files inside of them. Each one of these folders is a new save. So we obviously can't drag our saves from the Xbox version to the Steam version and expect them to work. Instead, we'll need to use third-party software. As far as I understand, currently at the time of creating this video, there isn't one to convert from Steam to Xbox Game Pass, but we can convert from Xbox Game Pass to the Steam save version. In order to move from Xbox to Steam, in the description down below you'll find a link. The link will take you to github.com slash zinni slash xgp save extractor. This will allow us to extract a bunch of different save files from our Xbox app, including these ones here, and most importantly, Starfield. What we want to do is head across to the releases section and click the latest release here. Then it'll take us across to a new page where we'll find an exe file, which you can download and run, but for me this personally didn't work. Instead, I'll be downloading the source code zip here. When it downloads, simply open up the zip with any file browser and we'll have a folder inside of it, and inside of this folder, a main.py file this is the actual program itself. In order to run .py files, you'll need Python installed, and you'll find a link to that in the description down below as well. All you need to do is click Download Python here, then save the file and run it. When you're installing Python on the first page, you should see something about adding to path. Make sure you have that ticked, otherwise the installation won't work properly. When you finish installing Python, we should be able to run the file and get our Xbox Game Pass saves for Starfield into our Steam folder. So, with this zip file that we downloaded, we'll extract it to somewhere like our desktop and open up the folder. Then, inside of here, we'll click at the very top and type in CMD to open command prompt in this folder here. See users, your username, desktop, XGP, etc. All we need to do now is type in Python space followed by the name of the file, which is main.py. Hit enter, and shortly after, it'll go through all of the installed supported Xbox Game Pass apps and grab all of the save files, then convert them, zip them up, and they'll save them right next to where the program is located. So for me, that's this folder here. Here we have starfield.zip, and opening it, here are my save files from the Xbox Game Pass version. Sweet. All we need to do now is move these across from our Xbox Game Pass zip folder here into the Steam location, which once again is Documents, My Games, Starfield, Saves. Simply drag them across and replace if necessary. If you already have save games here, I'd recommend you back them up, or even rename the entire save saves folder, so I'll add Steam to it like that, and make a new one called Saves, so we can replace absolutely everything. Drag them across, and just like that, we should be able to access our Xbox Game Pass saves in Starfield on Steam. It's super simple. After we load in, you can see that if I pull up the character sheet, my name is now Techno Game Pass because I used my Game Pass save and moved it to Steam. Now we're in game. Previously, this was just Techno, I think it was, and that was my Steam save, which I still have access to. Obviously, just move them in, or assuming you only moved a few load files, you should be able to select them from the load screen here. But anyways, that's really about it for this super quick guide. I'll make another video on converting from Steam to the Xbox copy, but for now that just isn't possible because of the different save types. Anyways, that's really about it for the super quick guide, so thank you all for watching, my name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!